Great, great morning again, guys. Have a blessed day today. Uh, thank you for joining me for, for these daily Christmas devotions for 2023. We're on day five now, and let's dive into today's devotion. We're going to read from Proverbs 17, 22, and here's what it says. A merry heart doeth good like a medicine, but a broken spirit drieth the bones. A broken spirit drieth the bones. Proverbs 17, 22. Now, I thought this would be a great verse to share around Christmas time because usually during Christmas time, there's a lot of joy. There's a lot of laughter. There's a lot of celebration. There's a lot of merry attitudes and merry hearts. I don't know if merriness is a word, but there's a lot of merriness and happiness happening in the world at that time. Such a mystery that the entire world, regardless of religious beliefs, would celebrate at the same time and be merry together. You know, I believe that the world is glad because it knows it needs redeeming and that that was when the redemption began. Obviously, it began in Genesis. Genesis, uh, when, when, when God said that, that, that he would have a son and that, that would crush the serpent's head. That's when the merriness really started. But when he actually came into this world, the true act of redeeming the world began because Jesus was born into the world. That's why the enemy was after him so hard as, as we see in Revelation chapter 12. And I encourage you guys to read that in your own time. But the world is merry because joy to the world, the Lord is come. We give, there's so much joy because now we have the opportunity and the ability to be saved, to be redeemed by the blood of the Lamb. To receive Jesus into the world. All of creation groans for His coming. Because He is God and beside Him there is none other. He is the Alpha, He is the Omega. And He causes so much joy into this world. The joy of the Lord is our strength, which is Jesus. Guys, around this time of the year, if there's anything at all that causes you to be sad, that causes you to be down, that causes you to be downcast, say to yourself, why so downcast, O my soul? Rejoice in the Lord and be glad. This is a time of the year to be merry, to be uplifted. You know what makes you not merry around this time? Looking at what you don't have. When you look at the things of this world and the things of life too much, you get sad because you might have lost a physical thing. And you focus on the physical thing that you might have lost and not look at the spiritual thing you would have gained, which would cause you to gain those physical things back as well. We say, oh my gosh, I'm not in a relationship yet. Everyone is posting pictures around Christmas. We say, oh, I don't have enough money in the bank. And it makes me sad because I couldn't buy my loved one something. We say this is wrong and that's wrong and I have this sickness and I have this wrong with me. Guys, first of all, don't confess those things over your life. There's power in the tongue and you need to speak the right things which will increase, which would help your attitude be adjusted to be one of happiness and joy and gladness and to be merry. Speak life. Don't speak what you see. Speak what you want to see in your life. That principle is taught all throughout the Word of God. Even God spoke this world into existence. But my encouragement to you today is this. To be merry. To be glad. Put aside the bitterness. Get around someone who has an attitude of gratitude. Get around someone who is laughing, who is making jokes, who is is just happy because the joy of the Lord is their strength. It says that in His presence, there is fullness of joy. So if in His presence there is fullness of joy and you're not merry around this time, are you abiding in the presence of God if there is not a fullness of joy in your spirit? My encouragement and my command to you today is to be merry, be glad, to rejoice in the Lord. As that song says, joy to the world, for the Lord is come. Guys, let's pray today. Let's close off today's devotion. Let's pray for a spirit of happiness, gladness, and merriness in the world today. 
and then I'll see you for tomorrow's devotion. Father, we give you thanks and praise. We come to you in no other name but the mighty name of Jesus Christ, your son that we celebrate this time of the year, dear God. Lord, I ask, Father, in Jesus' name, that right now, every spirit of depression, every suicidal, every sad spirit, every spirit of loss has to flee in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, and I ask that you replace it with your spirit of joy, gladness, laughter, a spirit of being merry at this time of the year, that, Father, in Jesus' name, those everyone that looks at this video would remove the thoughts of what they have lost and the thoughts of things that they don't have, Lord God. And they would focus on you, the author and the finisher of their faith. God, we give you thanks. God, we give you praise. For there is none like you. Lord, take our eyes off of the things of this world and put our eyes on you. Let us focus more on you where our true happiness and true gladness comes from. Lord, we know that the things can only bring us temporary satisfaction as water only temporarily satisfies our thirst. But Lord, when we drink from you, the living water, we never thirst again. There's, there's an unending supply of happiness and being merry and joy 